Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today we are looking at this question. Can I start my own digital marketing agency? Stay tuned and watch from start to finish because the insider tips, steps and practical insights that I'm about to provide you will help you to start your own digital marketing agency even if you're starting as a new marketer. And just very quickly, please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel and give the video a like because that really does motivate me to make more content for you. Thank you very much, let's dive right in. I will start by explaining to you what a digital marketing agency will do. A digital marketing agency provides services in the different facets of digital marketing. A full service digital marketing agency, as the name implies, covers all aspects of digital marketing. Other agencies focus on a specific aspect, strategy or a medium. There are many types of marketing agencies depending on what they specialize in. For example, you can have content marketing, email marketing, Google ads, influencer marketing, podcast production, search engine optimization or SEO, online sales funnels, social media marketing and social media ads. Now, as the founder of a startup marketing agency, you may begin by providing focused services. Later, you may decide to expand to being a full service agency or you may decide to stay laser focused on a particular area of expertise. As the business owner, it's up to you. Building a marketing agency is just like building any other type of business. I will now give you some steps to take to help you get started. Step number one, decide on the services that you want to offer. The first step is to choose which digital marketing services you wish your agency to offer. One way to accomplish this is by looking at the intersection of what you enjoy doing yourself or managing others to do, what you and your team are good at and what services have a high market demand. I would highly suggest to look at what you enjoy doing in digital marketing. Business is a long term commitment and every day will not be rainbows and unicorns. Now because of this it's good to begin with services that you have an affinity for. This will help you keep trucking on even when business is challenging. Now keep in mind that you may not always be the one directly providing the services. However, to begin with, you'll be servicing clients yourself. I recommend to do things that you're good at. Starting with what you're good at means you're likely to be successful and get measurable results for clients. This generates social proof which you can leverage to market your agency and attract new clients. I suggest look for services that clients want. You want to offer services that there's a demand for. You can find out what these are by doing some market research such as using Google Keyword Planner and other keyword research tools and interviewing your ideal clients and doing similar activities. When you find the intersection between these three areas then you have a few services as a starting point. You can then include complementary services that clients would want along with what you're already offering. For example, if you're going to offer copywriting services to a client then it would make sense to package those up with any of the following graphic design, funnel setup, paid ads management and content writing. Let's move on to step number two, identify your ideal client. Get clear on who your agency's ideal client is. When you know what services you'll be offering for your agency, you can then decide on your ideal clients. I recommend choosing your target market based on two criteria. People who you love to work with is the first one. Consider which types of clients, businesses or industries you enjoy working with. Here again it pays to have freelancing experience servicing for different types of clients. Another way to think of this is to reflect on the types of clients who are happiest with your services. Who are the ones who end up giving you glowing reviews and referring you to other people? The second criteria is for clients who will pay you. Identify market segments who want your services and are willing to pay the rates that you charge. It's no good targeting clients who still need to be educated on the value of your services. You can do that later on when you're profitable and looking to expand your client base. Neither is it a good idea to offer your services to those who cannot afford your services. You're running a business after all. Get your agency profitable and then you can think of ways to serve clients who need more financial help. I highly recommend to look at your current client base. Rather than take a wild guess, take some time to work out the people you currently work with. If there are certain people you don't enjoy working with, I suggest to exclude them from your list. 
Take some time to look at their gender, their age bracket, their industry, their location and their income level. Ask them what drew them to working with you. This can quickly give you a good overview of who is your who. I would suggest to consider looking at their current habits. Digging a little deeper, ask yourself what is it that your ideal client reads? What do they Google? What information are they searching for? Where are they searching for this information? Do they use Android or Apple? Are they always on a mobile device or on a computer? Do they hang out on Facebook or on LinkedIn or on Instagram? By knowing where they are and what they are looking for, you are able to reach them with ease. Here is step number three, build your team. Many agencies boost their team by working with marketing apprentices. The next step is to recruit new team members. You'll need other talents in your agency to provide additional services that you don't have the expertise for. When you're just getting started, you'll most likely work with some freelancers. Then later on down the line, as your agency begins to grow, you can hire them as employees. Many agency owners also work with marketing apprentices through Acadium to round out their human resources. Here is step number four, build an online presence that attracts your ideal clients. Now that you're ready to create an online presence for your digital marketing agency, you will need to come up with a name, register the business name and all legalities, then you can register the domain name and then I highly suggest that you set up the following, a professional website. Your agency's website is like an online brochure for your marketing agency. It should give basic information about what services you offer, for who that you offer them to, and how potential clients can come to work with you. Your website can also attract leads for your marketing agency passively, like a business development representative who works 24-7, 365 days a year. The next thing I recommend that you set up is a blog. A business blog is a good way to attract organic traffic to your website and your blog should be a part of your website. It also establishes your agency's for leadership in the specific digital marketing domain or the medium that you're focused on. Let me give you an example. If you're a social media marketing agency, then your blog should have expert posts about social media marketing. I would also suggest that you set up the right social media accounts. The last element of your online presence consists of your social media accounts. At the very least, I recommend to have accounts on all the major social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, LinkedIn and Pinterest so that potential clients can find you in any of them. And then I suggest you focus your efforts on the one or two social media platforms. Now which ones should you focus on? You should focus on the social media platforms where your ideal clients are already hanging out. And so if your ideal clients are B2B, SAAS companies, LinkedIn may be your best option. If however your ideal clients are local businesses, then Facebook might be the better platform for you. Another way for you to build your online presence is to produce content for the consumer. It may tempt you to talk more about the things that you do well without addressing questions or concerns. However, if you're selling something, it's likely your potential customer is also looking at your competitor. If you honestly answer their concerns or questions without bias, you will learn their trust and hopefully their business as well. Minimize the frustration of the buyer's journey by anticipating their needs. If you're a thought leader or a blogger, ask yourself what your audience would like to know more about. They have concerns about your industry that you could address. When you know your customer and you're open to answering their questions, you create a blog post or a landing page that they want to search for and engage in. Providing true value to your audience will increase your email list and your engagement. Here are some action steps that you can take. Number one, create a list of questions that your audience may have. Answer these questions in a blog, video or FQ section on your website. And number two, ask your audience on social media platforms what their concerns are with your industry. Use the responses as fuel for new content. Here is step number five, set up a client getting machine. Now that you have the basic pieces in place, it's time to promote your digital agency. The most effective marketing strategies are number one, referrals. Let everyone in your network know about your new digital agency and ask them to refer you to anyone they know who might need your services. Remember to reach out to previous clients and employers too. 
Freelancers who offer complimentary services may be happy to send potential clients your way as well. Number two is networking. Participate in in-person and online networking events. Don't just go to meet new potential clients, but to nurture your network in general. I suggest that you don't go into them looking at how other people can help you. I would recommend to seek, help, seek to help them first. It's also a good idea to always be networking, ideally before you meet the connections. Number three, automated marketing funnels. You can also set up automated sales and marketing funnels to get you leads even while you sleep. The most basic type is the lead magnet funnel. Let me tell you how it works. You offer a free resource, aka the lead magnet, in exchange for people's contact information. This could be a free report, a PDF, a course, a consulting call, a cheat sheet, or a webinar on a topic that's related to your services and that resonates with your ideal clients. To get access to the lead magnet, people have to sign up to your email list. When they sign up, a series of automated emails are triggered to be delivered to them automatically. The purpose of these emails is to instruct them on how to access the lead magnet, encourage them to consume the lead magnet, introduce you, your agency and the services that you offer, and compel them to take the next step towards becoming a client. Once you have a marketing funnel that you know gets you paying clients, you can put advertising dollars behind it. You can then dial your promotions up or down to keep your pipeline full. Apart from this, you should also have all the necessary tools set up that will help you serve your clients. Let me give you an example. If you specialize as an SEO agency, you can leverage the all-in-one SEO tool, SEMrush. You can start by trying out with a free trial. Let me now tell you about freelancing versus running an agency. If you're already a marketing freelancer, you may be wondering what's the difference between freelance digital marketing and a marketing agency. The most basic difference is that a freelancer is a one-person business. This means you're limited in terms of both the services you provide and the number of clients that you serve. In contrast, an agency is a multi-person business. It can provide more marketing services and serve more clients. Agencies can also be involved at a higher level in terms of strategic planning and problem solving rather than just executing a client's marketing plans. With size comes greater complexity. Running an agency involves managing more team members and supporting more clients and keeping them happy. An agency is also a bigger responsibility. Any decisions you make affect not only you but also your team members or staff. If you fail to get your agency profitable and sustainable, their livelihoods are also at stake, not just your own. I would like to suggest that your next steps are to get some freelancing experience. Now you know how to start an agency. If you're set on starting an online marketing agency, then your next step is to get some real life experience in serving clients as a freelancer. Only this experience will give you the self knowledge to get started with a digital agency. You may need to complete a few marketing apprenticeships first before you have the expertise, confidence and the connections to start out. And it doesn't matter whether you're fresh from college or you have 20 plus years of marketing experience. Once you have a few testimonials and some samples under your belt, you can leverage them to market your digital agency. Thank you for watching and don't forget to tell me in the comments section below the video which one step from this video you are going to implement first. I'd like to hear from you. Are you looking for a way to create a second income online? Well, I've got something special for you. Click the link below to join our exclusive webinar on creating a second income online. This isn't just a video, it's your ticket to a game-changing opportunity. Don't miss out. Make sure you check out that link and go through to my website and I will see you at the webinar. I hope you found this video useful. Please share it with your friends, like it and tell people about it. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and please like the video. Just click the subscribe button below this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment under the video below and I will follow up with you. Thank you for watching.